Hi everyone, my name is Emma. Thank you for joining us for another Keeper Corner. Today, I am going to teach you guys about animal training. So we're gonna do, utilize our friend Sterling here to showcase exactly what we do when we train our animals here at the zoo so that maybe you guys can do it with your animals at home. So when we talk about training, um, it means that we are training our animals to do something that we like them to do and they get something that they want. So it's actually called positive reinforcement training. So it's operating conditioning. And so what that means is that we have been working with our animals to do different behaviors. And when they do those behaviors, they get something added to their environment. So that is the positive part. And the reinforcement part means that the behavior that we are asking is either staying the same or it is increasing. And so we are going to be training Sterling to target, which is he is a little bit familiar with already. It's not super solid, so we're gonna get even better. And what I want Sterling to do is actually sit in this bowl. And so Sterling's training treats, his reward, his reinforcer, whatever it is, is actually apple pieces. So if you have animals at home, it's very important to figure out what your animal really, really likes. So when I train my dogs at home, I actually just use their kibble. That is perfectly um, adequate for training them. They go crazy for any kind of food. I also sometimes will chop up baby carrots. They also love baby carrots. Now, apple is something that Sterling doesn't always get in his daily diet. And so it is a very strong reinforcer for him. And so we're gonna go ahead and get started. And I probably won't be talking, but you'll hear some commentary over the video of talking about the training. So we'll just go ahead and get started. All right, Sterling. So first I'm gonna see if he even wants the apple today. Um, so if he doesn't even want the apple, then that's not really a good enough training treat. What do you think, buddy? Good job. Okay, apple is a go. bridged him with the verbal of good. Some keepers will use a whistle, some people will use a clicker. Good. Sometimes I just use the verbal of good. So what that means is that he knows that when he hears that word that he did something good and some, something is, was great and he's going to get good, a treat right afterwards. So he's doing a pretty good job with this target. We'll do one more. See if he wants to get into the bucket now. And I'm actually going to use the target to kind of encourage him to go into the bucket. Good. So even though he didn't go all the way in, that's okay. Baby steps. Good. Now the target is a really good job. It's a really good beginning training tool that keepers use to teach their animals because with the target you can actually get your animals to go to different places that you want them to go. Whether it's in a bucket, whether it's in a crate, good. Whether it's on a scale, um, the target is a really easy shaping tool to utilize. Good. Now he hopped in the bucket pretty easily. He didn't touch his nose to the target and that's okay because I'm eventually going to have the bucket be its own behavior. So I'm going to kind of fade that good target out. Now I'm going to start pairing the bucket with the cue. Bucket, good. <laughs> He's pretty cute when he's eating. Over here. Good. <laughs> All right, Sterling. Bucket. Good. So I didn't even have to use the target that time. That's pretty good. Over here. Good. And we'll try this a couple more times. treats because that one was very good. Okay. You can come out. Come out. Good. Now I want him to stay
stay in the bucket for a pretty long time. So we'll see how long he can stay in. Bucket. Good. Good. So while he's just sitting in the bucket, I'm just gonna wait a couple more seconds to add duration to that. Okay, can you come out? Good. Good job, buddy. And this is what I'll be working on with him. So over time, hopefully he learns that when I say bucket, point to his bucket, he has to go in. Ready? Three, bucket. Good. And then we'll work on him staying in a lot longer. And then whenever I ask him to come out of the bucket, he'll come out when I ask. What do you think, buddy? So if you guys have any questions about training from with your animals at home, let us know. We would love to help you out. It's also a really fun thing to teach your animals lots of different things. Um, you can still teach an old dog new tricks. Um, so yeah, let us know if you have any questions. Stay tuned for an activity, but thank you so much for joining us for this very special Cooper Corner.